Hello Tutors, welcome to a new video on a site that I have co-created and been working on for the last four months. This is a site that packaged all of the helpful trading tools that I had found and also created new trading tools found absolutely nowhere else on planet Earth that I know of into one site. And I'm going to show you guys today three features of the site. One that predicts where people will get liquidated, another one that uses a heat map to show order depth, and the third um, the final one that actually shows real positions on BitMEX, not just, oh, there may be some long positions here, there may be some short positions because of market buy and market sell volume, but actual position data that is calculated um, in the way that I will show you. So without further ado, let's go into it. The first thing that you're looking at on this site that I did help with the creating of is liquidation levels. So this is predicting where traders are likely to be liquidated at. Now you can see the color scheme here to see you know where would the 100x longs get liquidated and so on. You can also see the green and the red shows the entry price. The way that this was calculated was we looked at any one minute candle one minute candlesticks that had very very high market buy or market sell volume, and then we used if we had very strong if we saw a lot of market buy volume, then we would plot out where those longs would likely be liquidated. If we saw a lot of market sell volume, we would paint it red and we would, paint, we would show where those shorts would likely be liquidated. Let's take a look at some signals that this has given us. One of the cooler signals that this one has given, let me just show that here, is this. You can see here that this predicted that these longs would get liquidated here. And you may wonder, well, when was this prediction made? You know, when, when did it calculate that the 100X longs would be liquidated at that price zone? We'll calculate it right here. So as price went higher, we you would have had the opportunity to put your limit buy orders directly at where longs would be likely liquidated. Had you done that, you would have been filled at really that local market bottom. Let's say instead you want to look for not where the 100x longs get liquidated, but where the 50x longs get liquidated. Well, guess what? Look at this. If you had put, when price was up here, and this was an active liquidation zone that was not tapped yet, if you had put your limit buy orders here, they would have gotten filled right here at that market bottom. All this is doing is just calculating where traders are likely to be liquidated, showing you where those traders are likely to be liquidated, and then allowing you the opportunity to put your limit orders so that you get filled and you get into a very nice position. If we look at more right here, you can see that we had a lot of buying right here. So we calculated where are those longs likely to be, li likely to be liquidated. You can see that the first time they were liquidated around here, price jumped up, right? The second time, where the 50x, where the 50x longs got liquidated, uh, that actually created a local market bottom, where price went from about 11.7k up to a high of about what is that, 11.7677k, as you can see here. Now I'm trying to zoom out of this guy. Come on, zoom out. It's just zooming out. Okay. It really, it really zoomed out there. There we go. So you can see that this is something that you can use in real time in two ways. One, if you want to, you could say, hey, the longs and shorts are likely to be liquidated here, so I'm gonna put my limit orders based on that. A second thing that you can do is look for a collection of where many liquidation spots are located. Let me show exactly what I mean by that. You can see here, that at this point in time, right when price was down here, we had a ton of potential liquidations up here. The reason you see that is because many traders had gone short around here, and because so many traders had gone short, we have all of these potential liquidation zones. Consequently, what did price do? Price began moving right towards liquidating those shorts, as you can see here. And this tool gives you access to see not only where likely support and resistance will be, like what we covered over here, but also where is price likely magnetized to go? And as you can see here, it was magnetized to go upward. And if I was to zoom in on that, just to show you guys exactly what I mean. Again, you can see just beautiful support and resistance here. Um, another really, really, really good bounce after the shorts got liquidated at the very market top there. That would have been a great place to place a limit sell. Another one here, you can see that. So this tool is just really helpful to play around with and I would recommend back testing this for a bit. And if you think that the predictive liquidation style is good for you, 
and you can go take a look at this tool and start using it. All right, let's go to number two, the market depth heat map. This again is a really, really cool tool. Now, this may look a little bit overwhelming at first, but let me break it down of what it shows. This is the global MDR. So this is showing you the order depth of all cryptocurrencies combined. And whenever you see red, that means that it is a very high MDR or very positive MDR. Whenever you see blue, it means it is a very negative MDR. Now, what that means is typically when it's very red or very orange, we want to buy because that means that there's very bullish order depth. Typically, when it's very blue, that shows that there's very bearish order depth and we probably want to sell, such as here where it was negative 2.25. And that was there. And price continued to fall. This is the global MDR, and up here is the Bitcoin MDR, as you can see. And you can change, you know, however far back you want to go. Let me show just one signal just to show you guys how you could potentially use this. Notice here, the only time that the 1% MDR turns orange or turns very bullish, it's here. Remember, this is the Bitcoin MDR. This is only Bitcoin. This is the global MDR of every cryptocurrency. This is just Bitcoin combined order depth. Here was the only time that this MDR turned very, very bullish, right there. We had an MDR of 29% when price was falling right there. Additionally, look here. At the global MDR, you can see that this was orange as well. This was turning quite orange and quite red. You can see that we had a 14.21 on the 2.5% range MDR, global MDR, and on the 1% range MDR, global MDR, we had a 12.62%. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about here with global MDR and with, with basic MDR, I have a ton of videos that explain order depth and how to use that. And I also wrote a guide to how to trade order depth. So that might be helpful for you as well if you wanna go a little bit deeper into this. Now down here, what you have is the MDR heat map so that you can look at a collection of many coins at once and see their M and see their MDRs visually. And now what we have on this site that I don't know if any other site has is the change in MDR over the last five minutes. Now orange slash red means that recently, so five minutes ago to now, there has been a very bullish or positive change. So if you look at BTC, you can see that the MDR has just increased by 9% from the last five minutes to now. And, you know, for Matic, it's really changed, you know, plus 25%. And blue, you know, FET, just the MDR just dropped a lot. You can see that. So this is the change in the MDR, and this is the current MDR. You can see the current 1% MDR is at 0 0.39. Um, but the change from five minutes ago to now is 9%. This is a tool that may require some back testing and, and some, you know, just playing around with. Um, it's a tool that I find super, super helpful, as you can see here. And when I zoom out just to show the 96 hours, let me show that. Oh, wow, you can see a lot. You know, you can see right here how much blue we had before price fell. You can see just how much blue we had here with the global MDR before price fell, right? Here and here. And it's not just BTC, you know, I can go to any coin here. I could go to, let's say, you know what, um, TRX BTC. And I could look at it uh, last 24 hours. And when it loads, we'll see the TRX MDR is here and the global MDR is here. Now you can see here, points of time, when the 1% TRX MDR was very bullish. And typically what you could do is wait for the global MDR to be in confluence with the coins MDR. So what that means is right here, um, where was it? Right, yeah, right about here and right about here. So buying around here could have been potentially a good spot. And then also buying when this began to fall. As you can see, this indicated here and here. I don't wanna get too deep into that, guys, and, I, and it's not as confusing as a tool as it may seem, because when I first looked at this tool and when we first started creating this tool, it did seem pretty confusing to me, but I think if you just give this a bit of your time, It'll make more sense. Now this, the creme de la creme, the page that may be most popular, this is the trading activity page. What you can do on this and what this gives you and what I'm about to show you is something that absolutely no one else has access to that I know of. All right, let's go to net aggressive longs and net aggressive shorts and show that what that shows. We found that market buy volume and market sell volume is helpful for predicting positions, but not helpful enough. So what we did is we coordinated open interest with market buy and market sell volume. And what we found is that we could track the position data 
of traders actually entering into long positions and traders entering into short positions by looking at the relationship between market buy volume and market sell volume and open interest. Because if you see an increase in open interest and a large amount of market buying, well, th what does that mean? Well, that means that many longs have likely entered because open interest is only gonna increase if, if both a long and a short enters. And market buy um, volume occurring more than market sell volume occurring means that those longs who had entered had entered with market buy orders. So what this tracks is all positions on BitMEX of XPT USD of traders who enter with market buy and market sell orders. You can use this in many different ways. We can see where do the longs typically enter? Where do the longs typically exit? They're exiting here, they're exiting here, they're entering here. You know, where do the shorts enter? Where do the shorts exit? Now, if you don't want to see net, and you'd rather see cumulative. What this shows is, over time, how has how have the positions of longs and shorts changed? So if I do something like this and go you know down to 12 hours, we can see, look at that. Now this is showing us a lot of data. This is showing us that over time, within the last 12 hours, there have been longs entering with market buy orders. You can see just when a lot of longs exited, right around here near the market top, you can see where just a lot of shorts had entered right before price fell. And you can see where many longs had exited, many longs had exited, and price lost a bit of bullish momentum. There are a ton of ways you can use this, guys, um, but that is, that is gonna be up to your discretion also. I'm probably gonna make future videos on this as well. Other things that this shows um, that are available to other people, but is still very, very helpful is something like Delta. Delta is the difference between market buy and market sell volume. And typically what, what we wanna look for is a Delta divergence. So that is when you see that price is moving up, but there's more market selling or price is moving down, but there's more market buying. When you see a ton of market selling and price is mostly flat, well, that typically means that price is gonna go lower. Let me show just a quick, beautiful example of this here. Uh, let me highlight this right here. That's Delta. Now, price is flat, right? Price isn't really doing anything right there. But as price was flat, Delta was decreasing. This is a sign of divergence and a sign that you probably want to enter under short. Had you shorted here because you see that Delta is just falling off a cliff here and here, and have you had you shorted anywhere around here, that would have made for a pretty good short as price had fallen from a high that you were shorted about 10.6K down to a local low of about 10.4K, a little bit below 10.4K, as you can see here. And then Delta actually rapidly increased as price began to move upward, a bullish sign that price would likely move higher. So that's a really, really, really helpful tool as well. Um, and you can also look at open interest delta. Now remember, delta volume is just the difference of market buy and market sell. Open interest delta is going to show you how open interest changes per candlestick, as you can see here. And that is a big factor in the calculation for net aggressive longs and for cumulative aggressive longs. All right, guys, there is a ton of information on the site, and we are very, very excited to be opening this up for beta. Now, our current plan now is this is in beta mode, this is in testing mode, and in the future, this site will not always be in beta mode. Uh, it will eventually be released in its full product. Now, if you're currently a Gravity member, which means you're a member of the Discord, basically meaning if you have bought my guide to the Master of the Books or if you have bought my guide to Gravity, you have full access to this for now in its beta mode. So if you're interested in checking out this site, then what you can do is either buy the Master of the Books and learn more about Order Depth, or you can buy Gravity, a psychological, what was the rest of it? Gravity, which is a guide to price action volume. I, I think I wrote a, a long title for Gravity. It's like Gravity, a psychological approach to price action volume. And if you buy any of those guides, then you have full access to this in its beta mode. And this tool will likely not always be free. In the future, it when it is released, it will likely be paid. But for now, I found that a ton of traders, who just a few traders who I've released this to, have done quite well so far using liquidation levels and also using trading activity. Uh, this has really just changed their trading. 
So if you want to take a look at this and start playing around with liquidation, with predictive liquidations, or with access to actual position data on BitMEX that is calculated from open interest and market buy and market sell volume, then get one of my guides and you are in. With that, guys, I hope you enjoy this product that's in beta, and I'm happy to see where the site that I uh, helped create is going to go in the future. Happy trading, and let's go make some money.